Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series on Phantom Abyss, an asynchronous, massively multiplayer action roguelike platformer? Question mark. I think I got all that out there, but uh, as complicated as all of the genre tags sound, the game is about as straightforward as a video game can get with a twist. So basically, there is a relic. It is in a temple. You are trying to go and get it by dodging traps. But, however, it is randomly generated. Everybody in the world only has one attempt at each temple. And if you fail, your ghost is basically recorded and put into that temple and can be used to help other people get through it. Kind of by giving them tips and tricks. Because you can see what they have tried and what they maybe uh, tried and succeeded at or tried and failed at. Uh, but alas, let's get right in. I said, let's get right in. <laughs> so we are playing this game uh, a little bit early. We have some uh, like pre-release access here. So I'm just, uh, I've decided to do a little series on it because I really enjoyed my time with it from the Let's Try video that I did. Uh, and I only have access to it for a couple more days. So let's get, uh, let's get as much in as we can in a couple days. Gain a heart container. So, okay, we have different whips here. Gain a heart container and standing in water hurts you. Blessings are 50% cheaper, but you lose a heart container. That actually seems kind of nice, uh, but let's let's get this. We just gain a heart container. Seems like, why would I not go with this one? Uh, all right. So, yeah, we have different types of whips, and we will be able to pop on in here. Let's go. Hopefully, we will see uh, some ghosts of some friends. That would be nice, because it does try and prioritize that. The devouring rage protects this temple. Nobody has been here before. Okay. So we are actually the first person to step foot in this temple. So we are going to be the one to try and pave the path. Uh, so when we, uh, when another person gets, if we die at least, if another person comes in here, they will come and see me standing here looking around, whipping the air basically. Uh, but alas, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's a straightforward simple mechanics made very cool by uh you know the the unique takes on <laughs> on the game here we can move around we can uh we can sprint we can crouch we can uh sp sprint dash i don't want to dash into that spike there however one of the bigger things we can whip which will have it has a couple different uh, effects to it but a big one is if you hold down right click at least on the mouse while you whip you can use it to pull yourself towards a location which can be used in the middle of combat, but does have a fairly, fairly big cooldown. So you can't just like whip around and like all over the place. But you can whip onto walls like that. Nice and uh, nice and clean. Oh my God. What do we got there? We got uh, that air lift there. Thank you very much. So a, a funny thing with it being randomly generated or procedurally generated, like it, it's clumps of things that they know are possible stacked on top of each other, uh, basically. Some of the situations look like they're difficult traps, but are actually nothing, you know? So you get it in your head that something is going to be difficult, because... What is that? Is there a bomb in here? I think, there was, I think there was like a bomb in the wall back there. I mean, we could try and go and look for it, uh, but no, I guess not. All right. Okay, so we could open uh, we could open this door if we had a hundred bucks, but first of all, I probably wouldn't do that anyways because the money is how you use, uh, how you spend. What, what am I saying? The money is how you spend it. Yep, let's go with that one. Uh, the money is how you get upgrades. At the end of every zone, there is uh, a little shrine where you can spend, starting at fifty bucks, going to a hundred, then one hundred fifty, I believe, probably two hundred. Probably goes up by 50 every time, and you can get a little bit of an upgrade that gives you a new ability or a passive upgrade of some sort. It could be a new hit. Like right now, we can take four hits before we die. Uh, we could, you know, maybe get get it up to five, or we could get uh, an extra jump or the ability to float. All kinds of different things we would be able to get to make our life easier. That was terrifying. I'm ready to whip. Oh, boy. What's back here? Bunch of nothing. A big bunch of nothing. Okay. There's a key. There's a door. Okay. Bunch of spikes that look like they're going to do something. 
Ah, nice. Okay, so we have our first chest here. Whoa. This will have some money in it for us. Not enough to get an upgrade, though. Not enough to get an upgrade. We can't get up there, can we? No. What if we could just, like, we could just straight up escape the temple, go and play a different, an entirely different game. We just go home and we go play The Sims. All right. In we go. All right, we made it to the first checkpoint. This is where we would spend our bucks, our big bucks, our coins, to get an upgrade if we had 50. I didn't see any other chests, but there are hidden ones, and that's some of the things where you can get... Oh, no. It's this one. <sighs> you can use the other ghost, you know, to figure out where certain chests are. So if I were to die, but I did, like, go and I found a bunch of chests, the next person to do this would have a, a distinct advantage in a way, as long as they're keeping track of my ghost, sort of. Uh, but also, this is worth noting, each temple also has their own type of guardian. I, I know for a fact there's two different types. I imagine there's more than that. Uh, they are basically, think like the Spelunky Ghost. They are there to keep you moving and to make, the, make it more difficult, even if you happen to get like a really good random generation and you like, you know, your floor isn't actually that tough. You do still have to deal with the Guardian. The one that we have right now is is pretty quintessentially the, the Spelunky Ghost. Uh, he is, Oh, I just realized we could probably come back to use the shrine if we find 20 bucks right away. Speaking of, no. I just wanted to see if there was going to be some up there. Uh, okay, so that, like, kind of uh, the dark texture around there is going to be the way to figure out when that is going to be available to shoot again. I am looking for the chest. Okay, as soon as we go through there, I'm guessing that the guy is going to start following us. Is that right? No? All right. What's that? key door I feel like that's first of all I, I feel like that's actually not supposed to be there I feel like that's not supposed to be there at all uh, but I'm not being chased so we can we can afford to take our time a little bit there's a tactical role that we may need to use right like that is this just taking us back to where we were Or did I just... I think I might have just gone in a... I might have just gone in a circle. Hey! Ah, okay. So we're getting a little bit of gold. And we also got an uncommon key. So these are going to be used to open up more difficult paths. So we can go further into the dungeon. Further into the temple, if you will. Uh, oh, okay. I'm actually going to see if we can... We cannot back, or we could backtrack, but we did not go the backtrack way. Just the layout that we got generated there just happened to look the same there. Okay, so we're trying to go down, I would imagine, is what they're wanting from us. But I see a different path. The music is getting a little spooky. It makes me think the guy is going to show up soon. Oh, God, please don't do damage! No! Wait, it only did half damage. Okay. Could be worse then. I feel like we could have uh, snapped our feet onto the ground. Right there and probably taken damage. Ooh. What's going on here? We got a arrow trap. Okay. So far, so fine. Some kind of little uh, little secret hidey hole over here, eh? Just because there is a hidey hole does not mean that it is the better path to go. Also, it appears to just be a, a hidey hole for the sake of being a hidey hole. There is where I would leave my... Uh, my little note, if I could, if this was like a Dark Souls ghost kind of system. Whoop. Saying, eh, it's wait the time. Okay. All right, now he's chasing us. Now we've got somebody chasing us. All right, we got a couple directions we can go. The guy's going to be following us from over there. 
so I probably shouldn't go over this way, but I'm doing it regardless. Oh man, the cooldown on the whip is, is pretty hefty. It's a bad idea. This is a bad idea, 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 this is a bad idea. Oh, go, go, go. If you can't tell from the music, that's a bad idea. All right, okay. If he uh, runs into us, I don't know if it's insta-death, but I would sure ima- I would sure imagine it would be. Okay. Oh, God. But it might just be, like, a lot of damage. Okay, there might be something if we go- were to go down in through there. Okay, we could spend a hundred bucks to open that door, but I'm gonna be a little risky. And I'm gonna hold on to my money. Oh boy. Okay. That was a little tight. That was a little tight. Uh, ah, the bench is in the way! Oh no. The way this uh, loops back around is actually problematic for us here. Okay. All right, if we get to that one, uh, the end room with the shrine again, though, everything will be cleansed, and he will go away. And we can have a little bit of time to breathe. Oh, my God. I think we're fine, though. If we make this, we're good. Woo, baby. Yes! Freedom! Right? Yes! All right, he's gone, and we have so much money! Uh, chance to avoid damage, hold, slide to hover off ledges. Uh, let's get, take a chance to avoid damage. We'll also buy another blessing. An extra jump, sounds great. And we get to buy yet another one. Oh, we're rich. Hold, crouch, then jump to jump extra high. I haven't seen that one. I hope that... Okay, let's let's test it now. I hope that we don't take fall... Okay, we do not take fall damage from our own jump height. That would have been really annoying. All right. Let's do it. Oh, boy. All right. And if we forgot to do any, we could have upgraded ourselves here. He starts, he starts, that's what I thought. He starts chasing us right away now. Okay. No time to waste. Back to my place. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit of distance and maybe then we can feel a little bit more comfortable going for the, uh, the treasure after. This room is actually like really easy. It did. It, it looked like it'd be really overwhelming and tough, but it was actually nothing. We speed running this one. How far is he? He's pretty, pretty far, but he seems like maybe he's like. Oh, catching up or something. This is pressure sensitive. I don't see any treasure chests. Okay. Wow, we did it already. Wait. Then we can just back up. Hmm. Is there a chest over there? I don't see one. I think there might be one over on this side, though. Is that a chest? I can't tell if that thing over there is a chest. All right. Okay, so we're now uh, faced with a choice. We could go in here and we could start a gauntlet, a small gauntlet in order to pick up the first easiest relic. Or with the proper keys that you get by, uh, by doing these temples, uh, we can go into this one, which is Going to be a little bit tougher. We're gonna we're gonna go deeper before we decide to try and cash out. Against maybe my better judgment, but hey. 
We only got so much time with this game. Let's make it spicy. Am I right? We're entering the caverns. Deeper into the dungeon we go. We need glory. For glory. Oh, boy. I, I know that there are two... Um, there are two. There's this one, and then there's one that shoots, like, poison bombs at you. Okay. Yeah, what a cool place. Whoop. But I don't know if there... There might be a third one. And I just have not happened to see it. I'm using this time while there's nobody chasing me to, to look around, examine my surroundings, see if there's anything... Anything not too shabby to uh, to spend a little bit of time on. This is a very high jump, first of all. <laughs> uh, we do have our, our double jump. What's going on here? Where are we supposed to even go? Oh, right through there. It's a very... It's a... A lot of vertical. This is me uh, jumping and then holding forward. We get like one foot forward. It is genuinely just for jumping up high. Uh, but when we have a double jump, I don't know. All right. Are we going to activate the man? No. Hmm. Whoop. It's dart trap. Oh, there's a dart trap up there too. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's utilize our double jump and uh, let's... Get through here quick then, eh? Holy moly. We gotta watch our feet, though, because I think the biggest thing that could uh, really mess us up right now would be if there was a surprise spike trap on the ground. Ah, yes, that's the other thing that could do it. Okay, loop around. No big deal. Could have been much worse. Speaking of could have been much worse, this... Oh, there's arrow traps in here too, huh? Uh, uh. Oh my god. Whoop. Ow, my butt. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. A little bit of treasure. Okay, slide. I'm just going to get what I can here, you know? Oh, shoot. Where am I supposed to actually go? Oh, over here. Ooh, good enough for me. All right, we really chanced it. Cleansed. 200 bucks. I mean, we could go back, right? we get the money again? Or the money that we did not pick up? Those traps are just done, huh? Really? Okay. I don't think they actually are, though. Yeah, nope. They are not. They are not. I thought that there might be money on the other side, but I don't think there is. I think we actually got everything. Like, I think we did miss a little bit of the money by not staying by the chest for a little bit longer. But I think we got as much as we are going to get here. Da -da 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 Bang! All right. Okay. Still, it's 200, I imagine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. We're deep in. We only have half a heart loss, which, if everything aside from fall... This is not good. Everything aside from falling does one heart, then this is not too big of a deal. I feel like that's a... Hey! Ah! Okay, well, hey, thanks. Okay. There's our hit. It's it's kind of like a it's kind of like our first hit, sort of. Not not really, but 
you know, if everything does a heart, except for, uh... Okay, so the arrow is getting stuck in there, thankfully. Uh... Oh, I hate that. Okay, so we're actually safe right here. Nightmare. Are we actually safe here? We're actually safe here, too. I think, right? Yeah. Oh, that is a pressure trap. Yep. Okay, so that is a key. We're going to need to pick that up. Because I can only imagine we're going to need... Uh... Oh, boy. Okay. Need it for a door in this room, even, I would imagine. Ooh, can we pull, can we, uh, pull ourselves to a chest, too? It looks like we could. Yikes. Uh, how do we... So we can activate a trap early like that. I gotcha. We activated the spikes with our whip. Okay. That is very important information. Why are we not being chased? I'm, I'm happy about it, but... Oh. We can just kind of like go a different way. I love that. <laughs> That's the, that is what I'm saying. The fun thing with the procedural generation. You can, sometimes you'll luck out and you have a, a trap that is actually not too bad. Uh, that you can do instead of the one that is very nasty. However, it kind of looks like we're going to need to do it. I'm trying to activate that there. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted to activate both of them. Okay, so that activates it. That, like, sets it off for kind of a while. Uh, there's our door. Are you serious? Oh, that double jump saved my bacon. Yep. Yeah. I had a vibe. I had a vibe. Man chasing now. So now we know that double jump, there's some kind of treasure back down in there. Oh, we cleansed them away. Goodbye. <laughs> I was just trying to stifle my fall without having to do the, uh, the roll. Good stuff. Couldn't remember, couldn't remember, but there was a spike trap literally right there. All right, whip faster or gain a heart container. Let's just get a heart container. It seems like a big deal, right? 250 is what we need now. Whoop. All right, moves at five meters a second. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's mean. Uh, what we could do is whip it to stop it and slide underneath. So we didn't have to be so precise with our timing there. Option B would be to... Oh, God. Oh, no. Option B would have been to do, like, the, uh, the wall whip. And just, like, jump over it via the side there or something. Oh, okay. So these are pressure sensitive. These are not pressure sensitive? Let's just jump over them then. Oh. All right. You know we got it. Let's try. Oh. Okay. Almost got my kappa detated. Nope. Skirt. <laughs> uh, they really do do a great job with the uh, with that red coloring there, making it oh, make it very clear that it's very dangerous. Bye bye. All right. So I have never 
tried this. This is the this is the toughest one that we can do right now. I've not done this one before. We could we could tap out there. If we tapped out there, we'd get a bunch of blue keys to do uh, dungeons of difficulty equal to this. We are entering the inferno. All right. I am afraid. I am afeared. I have not done. I have not done this before. The Eye of Agony protects this temple. Is that the same? Wait. I think that's different. What is this? We can grab onto that? Oh my god. Uh. Okay. I mean, if we're not being chased yet, I guess there's... What is that? I didn't know if there's a trap. There's a lot of benefit in um, going to explore. Oh, my God. What is this? Can we fall off this? No. But we can't... All, we also can't grab onto it. If I remember correctly. I don't think we can grab onto slopes. Okay, it's just money. Understandable. 250 for another upgrade uh, is a it's starting to get to be a tall order for sure. But I uh, I will probably try. Well, that was rough. I should not have oh, should not have gone yet there. That could have easily been a uh, oh, a jump of hubris that got us got. Where are you at? 186. So we have actually, uh, we are actually at more health than we started this temple with. So that, there is that. It is nice. Oh, I thought I missed, to be honest. Okay. Mm hmm. I see. Oh boy. Oh my god, is there a... Uh, there is no other choice here, is there? Really? So we have to just go on to the spikes, but... What? How do we... How do we not die, then? I mean, I have a double jump, but how would somebody else who doesn't have a double jump not die. Okay, it's done a trap. Might be one up here. Whoop. Just cheat it. Just cheat it a little bit. Okay. Whoop. There we are. Okay. Freebie chest. Don't mind if I do. We might actually get to 250 uh, relatively soon here. I love that we're not being chased. I don't know what metrics it uses to determine whether or not we should be getting chased. I'm missing a key. Where? Did I have to? I didn't. They're not. Expect. Oh. Expecting me to go back and grab a key again, are they from the same place? I feel like it's probably back here. Can we, like, probably activate these early, too? I would imagine it's probably back here, right? Yeah, there it is. Whoop! Whoa! Oh my god, this is strange. These traps are the ones that I'm like the most confused about. It's because they, they put the line up early, right? Let's just take, let's take a second to analyze. They put the line up early. Okay. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. 
Okay. Okay, so I think that that... I, I feel like I just as easily could have gotten hit there. All right. Yeah. I don't know. That's the only trap in the game where I'm like, I'm trying to figure out exactly how the visual tell equates to how the attack actually comes out. Just want to be careful. Ooh. Ooh. Not quite. One more chest. One more. Okay, we need another key. I'm assuming... Yep, it's up high. Oh my god, that was lucky. What if... Oh, that actually just worked. I was gonna, like, jump again in the air to try and do, like, a little bit of a hover. To gain extra, extra time in between. Okay, so that's... That's a little sketchy, but we have a double jump to make it not so sketchy. God, the double jump is huge. Getting money is so important. That being said, we are probably entering the point where... Uh, we are not going to be able to buy another upgrade after this. That's my guess. Maybe. Alright. Nerthen. Wapow! What do we get now? Whip faster or slide to hover off ledges and defy ground. I mean, it sounds fun, but I think that a quicker whip. No, you can't. I can't grapple again in the air. I figured as much, but dang, if it's not disappointing, anyways. <laughs> Don't know why the Eye of Agony is not following me. I'm fine with it, though. Must be doing something right. Or uh, or there's an early game bug. Because we are playing... We're playing a wee bit early, so... It would not be... Oh, God, really? Oh, what? Wait. Can we just... Nope. How is that possible then? So, one, two, and then they do half. I guess that's the that's the timing window. That's brutal. That is brutal. I am completely understanding as to why I I got messed up by that. That is that is brutal. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hey, they gave us a chest, uh, two chests too. Why do you have to give me this anxiety with the music? Please don't. Uh. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Got our key. This again, huh? Okay. All of them go. All of them go. Half of them go. All of them go. All of them go. Half of them go. I don't get it. What? How is that possible? How is this one doable? How is this doable? All of them go. All of them go. Half of them go. 
can you walk through the middle? And I just, maybe I just, maybe you can walk through the middle and I just didn't, uh, didn't do it right. But that seemed brutal. I mean, I guess we should have tried to, I guess we should have tried to jump over it. But that one seems like, I don't know if the timing is, uh, is there on that one. Uh, this is just a little hidey hole, I guess. All right. Scoot. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Analyze, analyze, analyze. Okay, there's a hidey hole in the in the wall right there. I don't want to get too close just in case it's one of those weird situations where, um, uh-oh. I'm going to actually just skirt right off the edge because I thought that there was a chance that, yeah. So we probably could latch onto that. God, it's actually a lot further than it looks. Ugh. I'm pretty sure we can latch onto that, but I don't know that we should risk it, really. For what seems like it is probably just maybe a chest, singular, when we're not really going to get uh, another shot here. Oh, boy. All right. If my hunch is right, this is probably the last section before we go on to the actual true gauntlet. This Eye of Agony. It is, uh, it is very confused. So if we can beat this zone up to the next little shrine, then we do a gauntlet that is, uh... It's not gonna be any easier than what we're doing right now, I'll tell you that much for sure. Oh. What kind of arrow trap kind of guy? Yeah, good enough. Good enough. I don't know if I'm going to make the n enough money anyway. Oh, boy. What's all this? We have 200 bucks. We might be able to get one more. Oh, God. There's an arrow guy. Oh, we already used our jump. It doesn't let me do it again. Okay. Ooh, boy, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. This again? There's something wrong with this one. I, I just I don't... Okay, all... Oh, it looks like there's enough space to go in the middle. I just... I'm going to take damage from this. Whoa! Oh, my God. What happened? I like... Oh, my God. Got out of that Scott Free somehow. Okay, that one as well. I feel like... I feel like these are not timed super, super well here. Since I can't, like, do anything to... Yeah, well, I'm dead. Okay, I can't stand here. I... Yeah, I don't actually... I don't actually know if those are doable right now. I mean, apparently... They must be, right? Right? Otherwise, they wouldn't... They wouldn't include them if they weren't doable, right? Because holy moly, mother of God. I, I... I got through it, but I heard that... That was me avoiding the damage. So, no, I did not... I, the time I got through it, I did not avoid it. That was my passive. That's what that was. Holy moly, man. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, yeah, that, like the little dink. That was me. Uh, that was me getting my passive to avoid the damage. How do you not get hit by that? How is that... How is it possible? 
Probably, I'm guessing the middle, maybe. But then, like, what's the point of them even going up and down? It might as well just be a be two spinning, like, spinning saw blades on the side. So, it has the illusion of something that can be timed, but I don't, I don't, with how long they stay up, it's not like they're spikes, you know? So, I guess we'll have to, we'll either have to figure it out, or they're going to be, the devs are going to be like, whoopsies, we had a trap that can't be dodged, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming I just don't quite know how to dodge it that is my hope but alas that is that we will be back at it again tomorrow here uh for a little bit of the wonderful phantom abyss maybe you will go and do that dungeon that i i have now perished in i had never made it that far anyways so uh i'm curious to see curious to see what it's like even deeper in the dungeon because in theory there's two zones further than that there's the door with the purple lock and the door with the golden lock uh, so, that is incredibly terrifying to think about. Uh, how how terrifying, terrifying you can get. Gain three heart containers, but guardians are stronger. That feels worth it. Especially if they decide, like, they're not going to show up. Uh, so we can either take a normal whip, a normal whip, or I see. We can, we can also spend one of our regular keys in order to get the night whip. I gotcha. But for now, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this and you want more of this, especially when it does come out in early access later, because uh, as mentioned, we, we only got access to this for the weekend here. So we're just got, we just got a couple episodes of this coming out, maybe a multiplayer uh, kind of not, not the direct multiplayer, but like a kind of special uh, thing coming up. Maybe possibly, I don't know. Uh, but we'll be able, we'll play it for a little bit here. But if you want to see more of this when it's officially out, out, uh, let me know in the comments below in the form of a like and a comment. Those are genuinely the number one ways to help and support things. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more typically every single day. My name is Reshmation. It's been great spending time with you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.